Industrial gases such as hydrogen can cause serious injury or death if not properly handled. You should only handle industrial gases or operate industrial gas equipment if you are a trained professional. Messer Americas makes no warranty or representation as to the suitability of the information provided in this program for any particular purpose. You, the viewer, rely on this information at your sole discretion and risk. The information provided in this program may not apply to all situations and is not intended to replace an industrial gases safety training program. You should always follow your employer's safety policies and procedures. This program instructs the viewer to call or contact Messer under certain circumstances. If you work with industrial gases and equipment that is not supplied by Messer, it is important that you contact your industrial gases supplier if you have an emergency or require support. Welcome to the Taking the Lead in Safety series from Messer Group a world leader in industrial gases and engineering. In this program, we'll take a look at the safety guidelines for working with hydrogen in both liquid and gaseous forms. We'll cover the basic properties and behaviors of hydrogen, how it's piped and stored for use, and we'll also examine the safety concerns associated with flammability, low temperature burns, and asphyxiation. Hydrogen has the distinction of being the lightest element in the universe, 14 times lighter than air. It's completely non-toxic and non-corrosive. As a gas, it's odorless, tasteless, and colorless. So, without special monitoring devices, you have no way to detect it. The vapor you sometimes see where hydrogen is being delivered or stored is misleading. That's just water vapor condensing in the surrounding air. Once hydrogen gas has reached normal air temperature, it's completely invisible. Because it's so light, hydrogen gas released in any enclosed space always collects at the highest points. For this reason, hydrogen monitoring devices should be placed as high as possible. Hydrogen can be converted to a liquid if it's pressurized and subjected to extremely cold temperatures, which is how it's normally stored and transported. It's much more economical to transport and store hydrogen as a liquid because liquid expands into a gas at the ratio of 850 to 1. That means you'd need 850 tankers of hydrogen gas to deliver the same amount of material as one tanker of liquid hydrogen. Liquefied hydrogen is one of the coldest materials used in any industrial setting. It's normally at 423 degrees below zero Fahrenheit. The only colder liquefied gas is helium. If you work with liquefied hydrogen, be sure to follow the precautions to avoid low temperature burns. We'll talk more about that later. Hydrogen is often used as a fuel. When the space shuttle took off, it burned a combination of liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen to create the necessary thrust. Hydrogen is also the most environmentally friendly fuel on Earth. When it burns, the only byproduct is water. Hydrogen's other main application is in creating controlled atmospheres, which are needed for certain industrial processes, like heat treating, steel manufacturing, and finishing for special types of metal. Hydrogen is highly flammable, but it's not as dangerous as most people think. A hydrogen flame is extremely hot, but it doesn't radiate much heat into the surrounding area. By comparison, Fires from gasoline and natural gas radiate far more heat and they have the potential to last much longer and do a lot more damage. When hydrogen burns, the flame is almost invisible. It burns clear, creating just a faint blue cast. You might actually hear the sound of a hydrogen fire before you see anything. If for any reason you suspect a hydrogen fire, contact Messer immediately. To work safely with hydrogen, it's important to remember that it takes hardly any energy to ignite it. A spark of static electricity from combing your hair is about a thousand times the amount of energy needed. The key to working safely with hydrogen is eliminating any possible sources of ignition. Liquefied hydrogen is always stored inside vacuum jacketed tanks. These tanks are like big thermos bottles, essentially a tank within a tank. With hydrogen, the inside tank is always stainless steel, 
because other metals become brittle at such a low temperature. The storage tank and all other components connected to a hydrogen handling system must be bonded and grounded according to accepted industry practices. Bonding consists of connecting all the components together to avoid any difference in electrical potential from one component to another. Grounding means that the system must have a good electrical path directly into the earth to dissipate any electric charge. In hydrogen systems, bonding and grounding are essential to prevent any sparks that might start a fire. In the event of a leak or other emergency, an emergency stop button is available that will shut off the supply of hydrogen from the tank. The area around the storage tank should be kept clear of material, cars, and other vehicles. Backing in a gas delivery truck takes a lot of room, so be sure to maintain a wide, clear path from the road to the storage tank. The tank on a gas delivery truck is basically the same as a stationary tank, double jacketed, holding liquefied hydrogen under low pressure. Only trained industrial gases delivery persons certified in hydrogen handling systems should handle unloading. Also, the truck must be grounded to the local bulk handling system before unloading to help prevent sparks. Employees who work around liquid hydrogen should always be aware of any unusual conditions that they see at the tank, such as excessive icing, discharge of liquid or excessive vapor from the tank, tank piping, or a safety relief valve. These are not normal conditions and they indicate a problem. If any of these conditions are observed, Call the Messer emergency phone number posted at the tank. Piping should be located in protected areas where workers cannot damage it when they're using forklifts, trucks, or other equipment. If a change is planned to the tank or piping design, or if additional capacity is needed, have an engineer look at the system. Hydrogen systems are designed precisely for the material and sizing of the components. Contact Messer if any changes are planned to the tank or tank piping systems. Workers face two main risks from hydrogen, extreme cold and fire. The personal protective equipment that they wear must address both. Workers should wear a long sleeve shirt and pants of FRC, fire retardant clothing. Synthetic fabrics are not acceptable because of their tendency to create sparks from static electricity. Workers must also wear eye and face protection, conductive or static dissipative safety-toed boots, and loose-fitting insulated gloves. It's very important that liquefied hydrogen never be trapped in a container or a section of pipe anywhere in the bulk handling system. Safety relief devices must be installed wherever the pressure can build up to dangerous levels. Here's why. Imagine boiling water in a pot with the lid clamped on. What would happen? The water boils. Steam pressure builds up. And before long, you've got a very hazardous situation. If liquefied hydrogen is trapped in a container or a pipe with no venting, you've got the same situation. Even though it's very cold, liquefied hydrogen is actually boiling as it evaporates. This can build up tremendous pressure, enough to cause piping to rupture. Safety relief devices must be installed in all piping and storage systems, between all block valves and anywhere else that liquefied hydrogen may become trapped. Also, all electrical equipment within 25 feet of a hydrogen handling system must be explosion proof. Safety relief valves on a hydrogen system take advantage of the gas's lightness. They direct the gas into a vent stack, which discharges well above the ground. Whenever hydrogen is vented, it just goes straight up the stack. Unlike some gases, hydrogen is not a problem for the environment. Hydrogen bulk handling systems also need low temperature shutdown devices. These prevent hydrogen that's too cold from entering any pipes or other equipment that are not acceptable for operation at very low temperatures. Sometimes, liquid hydrogen systems must be purged to clear them for maintenance and inspection. Helium is the only gas that can be used for this process because it's the only one that won't freeze solid at the temperature of liquid hydrogen. 
For purging systems that carry hydrogen gas, nitrogen may be used, but the product purity concerns may dictate that helium be used for this operation as well. All affected employees should be trained on the safety data sheet for hydrogen. Safety data sheets are available from Messer and they provide important safety information including the hazards of the product, first aid and accidental release measures, personal protective equipment, as well as proper procedures for handling and storage. As we said earlier, liquefied hydrogen is one of the coldest materials on Earth. At 423 degrees below zero Fahrenheit, this presents a tremendous risk of low temperature burns. In this respect, it's even more dangerous than liquefied nitrogen or CO2. Workers should never touch liquid hydrogen pipes, valves, or other equipment with their bare hands. Even if their hands are dry, they'll stick instantly because the super low temperature of liquid hydrogen will draw moisture right out of their skin. Even if workers are wearing gloves, contact should be avoided with these components. Also, there's a danger from the vapor produced by liquid hydrogen. It can damage delicate eye tissue. Workers should always wear eye protection if they may be exposed to cold vapor. If liquid hydrogen comes into direct contact with the skin, it will produce instant frostbite. Contact of even a few seconds will be very painful. But even if there is no pain, this type of injury can be recognized by the yellowish waxy appearance of the frozen tissue. Low temperature burns should never be rubbed or warmed with dry heat. Instead, this type of injury should be treated by placing the affected area under lukewarm, never hot, water and removing restrictive clothing. There is one more low temperature caution. Uninsulated pipes carrying liquefied hydrogen can become so cold that they can actually liquefy the air surrounding them. This can be seen as a clear liquid dripping or running from a pipe with lots of vapor in the surrounding air. While not as cold as liquefied hydrogen, liquefied air can still be cold enough to provide a low temperature burn, so it should never be touched. Also, when this liquid is created, it has the same composition as air, about 21% oxygen and the rest nitrogen. But when it hits the ground and begins to warm up, the nitrogen evaporates first because it has a much lower boiling point than oxygen. With the nitrogen gone, these puddles on the ground are mostly liquid oxygen, the most powerful oxidizer there is. If a fire starts in the presence of this liquid oxygen, things that might not normally burn may burn very easily. If the air starts to liquefy around a hydrogen system, workers need to follow appropriate fire safety guidelines in the presence of this oxygen-enriched liquid. This brings us to the other main concern when dealing with hydrogen, flammability. Overall, hydrogen is one of the safest fuels around, but if dealt with improperly, it can be extremely dangerous. The key is following all recommended safety guidelines. The most important thing that a worker needs to know is that hydrogen is extremely flammable. It's very important that no open flames, smoking, or anything that could create a spark is in the vicinity of a hydrogen station. Hydrogen is flammable in concentrations between 4% and 75%. Do not enter any area suspected of having a high concentration of hydrogen. The best way to control a hydrogen fire is to stop the flow of hydrogen at the source and use nitrogen or helium gas to ensure that the fire is extinguished. Let's review the key safety points on hydrogen. For most industrial applications, hydrogen is stored as a liquid under low pressure. The temperature of liquid hydrogen is 423 degrees below zero Fahrenheit, and this creates a very significant risk of low temperature burns. People working with bulk hydrogen systems should always wear the recommended personal protective equipment and follow all appropriate safety guidelines for their particular operation. Hydrogen is the lightest of all elements. When released as a gas, it quickly rises to the highest point in any enclosed space. Hydrogen presents some risk of asphyxiation. The gas itself isn't toxic, but if too much of it builds up in an enclosed space, it displaces the oxygen, making the air unsafe. Facilities using hydrogen in any form should always be equipped with proper ventilation and atmospheric monitoring. 
Hydrogen is highly flammable, though less dangerous than many other flammable materials. It burns very quickly and almost invisibly. Most important, it ignites with very little energy. So the best way to avoid a hydrogen fire is to eliminate all possible sources of ignition and to stop the source of hydrogen if a fire does occur. Industrial gases, such as hydrogen, play a critical role in manufacturing, food processing, healthcare, and literally thousands of other applications. Understanding their properties and behaviors, as well as employing best practice handling procedures, ensures a safer workplace wherever they are present. For more information on industrial gases, such as hydrogen, or to obtain safety data sheets for any industrial gas, visit our website at www.messer-us.com. Thanks for watching, and have a safe day.